Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to the appreciation video before the Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke content. On our last video, Reaching for the Top, the underleveled Elite Four challenge, where we tackled the Elite Four and the Champion with our team, you know, a good, you know, two, three, four, five, maybe even, you know, 12 against Lance, levels behind, and we actually came out on top, thankfully. Uh, we got four likes, and we got nine comments coming from Scansnetro TV, Scription Gaming, Ow, Kohai. And that's all, because I did some replies and stuff. And of course, we know that Arvido is with us in spirit, because he, 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 I think he said he's at a festival uh, this weekend. So hopefully hopefully you uh, you uh, had a good time with that, man. So anyway, uh, without any further ado, let's get on to the uh, the beginning of our Kanto journey. And for now, a Monster Mad out. Bye-bye! Arvido here. Description here. Monster Man here. <sighs> home sweet home. Alright, hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. We've returned triumphant from our getting called by, by Professor Elm. Okay. Well, hello, Tiltes! I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Okay. Uh, what I was trying to say was we've ret we've, we've returned triumphant from our from our time fighting Lance at the Elite Four. I do want to step this stuff up here though and see what these things that, that Mom's been buying us have been though. Quick, just just for a second there while while we're here. Feathery bed already set up. Okay, poster town map already set up. Ornaments Clefairy and Charmander. Oh Charmander! <coughs> you know what? Sure, why not? I'm not afraid to, use it to, to, to have, have a Clefairy out. Look at that! See. Our hard-earned money at work, people. <laughs> That's so not worth it. Okay. Off to see Professor Elm. <coughs> so hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And are as excited as I am to get on to Kanto and see what's up. Now, Professor Elm, what's happening? Tooties! Uh -huh. There you are! I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto! Yay! The ship departs from Olivine City! But you knew that already, Tiltes! After all, you've traveled all over with your Pokemon! Give my regards to Professor Oak in Kanto! I will! Cool, I have no one on me who has fly! I guess we're biking there! Uh, give me a sec. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I flew here. Actually, I flew to uh, Blackthorn City quickly to grab some more Ultra Balls and potions because why not? So all of our fight money from from besting the Elite Four is now gone, but we have Ultra Balls for days and a decent amount of of uh, potions again. Oh, and Kanto. Which okay, well I'm I, I am going, ladies. I'm sorry. Be jealous of me, I guess. Welcome to Fast Ship SS Aqua. Will you be boarding us today? Uh, yes, I will. Arr, may I see your SS ticket? Not sure why I changed a mid thing there, but I felt like a pirate all of a sudden. Right, that's it. Thank you. Get on the blasted boat. What are you doing here? We're departing soon. Please get on board. Yarr. That's a much much fancier boat than the pirate accent would suggest. They're 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 modern day pirates. All right. Okay. Wow. Whoa, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Bye, dude. Okay, so missing kid quest has been started, apparently. Is this, is this, is this my room? Uh, nah, maybe not, but I can just go in here, apparently. Nice music, though. Very catchy. Okay, so it's basically your standard uh, boat trip thing here in, here in uh, Pokemon, where you just walk around beating the crap out of people while some subquest or other takes place. That's fine. Alright, well, we can occupy ourselves on the way to Kanto by beating the crap out of uh, Noland here. Heiko Nolando. Nolando! But where's uh, Great Warrior Kalgara? Alright, you know what? Let's let Peanut have some fun. She, she, she didn't get to do anything during the Elite Four. Let's let her, like, do stuff. Like, actually use Earthquake for the first time, for one. And see, now I actually kind of regret teaching it to her, because we didn't end up using it at all. 
and she could have learned it on her own eventually. So we could have taught it to somebody else. It's a, it's a bit late to cry about it now, but it's kind of a kind of a a, a, a regret of mine. But oh well, these things happen. I've also given the experience here to, to Victoria, so the, the, the long, slow trek to Dragonite has begun. Alright, Golem. Think you can handle Peanut? You have a really high defense, so you, you, you may just, but nope. We're good. Well, 17. Like, 38 levels to go. Oh, that's too much to handle. It's just too much. Just too much. Mom, Mom, what do you want? Well, hi, Tootie's! How are you? So it's a double doll. I was just there. I was just doing that. Lady! <clears throat> Drive me nuts. Well, that's what family's for, right? Driving you crazy? Uh... Okay. Big empty room with nothing in it but a trash can and nothing, nothing there, even. Arr, here's your cabin. If your Pokemon are hurt, take a wee nap in the bed. I will heal them up good. Okay. Oh, there's even a computer. That's mighty handy, actually. Cool. I actually do like the music on, 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 on this boat. It is, it is quite catchy. Well, I'm going to Kanto to put on fire-breathing shows. I do like how everyone I'm fighting so far is vulnerable to Peanut, which is a nice way to make up for her doing nothing in the uh, Elite Four battles. Lyle. Oh, okay. I mean, I was I was expecting actual actual fire, but this will work too. Although you you have to think that in real life, you know, if if, if Pokemon actually you know made sense. Having a, having a ground element elephant thing running around causing earthquakes on your boat would maybe be, you know, cause for concern. I'm not sure I would want, you know, a half-ton elephant, you know, rampaging about destroying my boat. Especially not while out at sea. Just doesn't seem like that good of a strategy, you know? Like, congrats, you you won the Pokemon battle. We're all drowning now. Thanks for that, kid. Alright, Doom Count 37 and, and, and slowly decreasing. Meanwhile, just keep mashing Earthquake because nothing can defeat Earthquake. I mean, th this is basically why Ground is considered one of the better offensive types, because it's only resisted by a handful of things. Like, flying is immune to it, obviously. Or sorry, ground is immune to flying. You, you know what I mean. Um, I think grass resists it? But other than that... are the passengers all be trainers, eh? They'll, they'll all be itching to battle in their cabins because they're bored as shit. We got no entertainment on this boat. And our whimsical pirate accents got dull after a few days, are. Hey, kid, you wanna battle with me? You wanna? You wanna? You wanna? No, dude. Not really. Poke a fan. Wants a battle. What's, what's, what's Colin got? Delibird. Don't you, like, not know any moves beside present? That and your ice flying. So if I just roll out, you should just die, right? Because that's a, you know, double weakness to rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was momentarily concerned, and then, and then I remembered that Delibird sucks. You're strong. My Pokemon's dead, and that's not- that's- that's a problem. Hmm. I'm not a baby! That's not nice to say, but- <clears throat> That's not nice to say to a lady! How about half a lady? I mean, you are kind of short there, kiddo. Maybe a little bit too young to be to be a full lady, Megan Peg. Sent out. Fa Fan P. Look, Peanut, it's you from the start of the from 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 from, from the old days. Aww. I want to crush it in a meaningful way, since apparently we're doing nostalgia. Roll out. It is the day for rollout. I know, I know, it resists me. 
But it's okay, because with enough stages, Rollout can crush anything. As, uh, poor Scription can attest. Sorry, man. Didn't want to bring that up on you, but, uh, you know, we... Yeah. Other... It's, 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 it's the, the... N not so warm and fuzzy nostalgia, that. Alright, so fan be down. What's next? The Doom Clock is down to 36. Oh, okay, so they just have both of, like, the special Pokemon for Crystal. Alright, well... I'm just gonna make sure to wipe this from existence, because I don't want to look at you. I can't have you. I want... I wanted a Teddy Ursa so badly. But I got Peanut. It's all good. Oh, we lost! Yes, you did. Sorry. Sort of. Okay, well... It's good training for, uh, Victoria, if nothing else. How about you? Oh, hello. I still can't find my granddaughter. If she's on the ship, that's okay. She's an energetic child, so she may be bugging someone. I'm worried. Worried, I say. Worried. All right, that's fine. What the hell? Arr, hey, kid. Can I get you to look for me, buddy? He's goofing off somewhere, that lazy bum. I wanted to go find him, but I'm on duty right now. Yar. Arr, yar, 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 blow me down. Sh shiver me timbers and stuff. Okay. We are buddy seeking. Seek buddies. Seek them. Oh, is, it, is, is that you? Yeah, I'm a sailor, all right. I dropped the stupid pirate accent. No one here actually talks like that, and I sure as hell wasn't goofing off. This cabin was vacant, so I just took a quick nap. Nah, forget it. Let's battle. You need to go back to sleep, and you're waking me up, kid. You have any idea how annoying it is to keep up a fake pirate exit for three days straight on a stupid cruise? Besides, what kind of pirate's name is Stanley anyway? Yer, me name be Stanley. It, it, it just doesn't work. Earthquake. Like, all you gotta do, mate, is keep spamming Earthquake. And it's just done. We'll shake this boat apart. The time, <laughs> by the time we get to Kanto, it'll be two T's, his Pokemon, on like a tiny, like, scrap of driftwood, like a raft cobbled together from the remains of this boat, because Peanuts just kicked the crap out of the rest of it. Machoke. Choke Machoke. Because there's a ghost of a chance, you might now counter, I'm weakening you first. Never mind, you'd still kill me if you knew it. Peanut, you were, you were, you were slightly too strong. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to take, you know, intelligent measures against possible threats, and you're just like, nah, whatever. Caution to the wind. That's fine, I guess. Doom clock down to 35. Psyduck. Say ay 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 Sigh, I die! Oh, almost 39 for Peanut. Sorry, it's all my fault! Arr, I'll go back to me dumb pirate accent. Yeah, I arr, I arr, I arr, I arr. Being a sailor, I have to do physical labor. It's exhausting, yar. Okay, uh, uh, off to the poop deck with you or whatever. I don't know nautical things, don't look at me. <laughs> hey, I found your friend, you done? Yar, thanks kid, I shoot him out so good he'll quit slacking off forever. I gave him a good gullion. What? A little girl? I may have seen her go by here. I didn't stop her because arr, I didn't think she could handle finding a random guy who was sleeping in a cabin. Right. Oh, <laughs> seasick. <laughs> Clearly, this is the best time to have a Pokemon battle. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just be over here throwing up into a bucket while j while juggling. What? I don't understand this man. He he is seasick and juggling, but he's also like, uh, yeah, never mind. I'll figure it out after I beat the crap out of you. Shika, 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 shika.
The Invincible Peanut. Invincible Macho again. There, apparently there's just a serious influx of fighting types on this boat. Eh, whatever. They're all underleveled as hell, though, which is interesting to me, because you need to be able to beat a level 50 Dragonite and his buddies to get here. But everyone here is below level 30, well, not below 30, but like below 35, anyway, which is odd. Magmar. Honestly, I, I think I'm, I think I'm one of the few people who actually liked Magmar's design as, as a kid. Like, even his sprite here, I, I I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me that much. But like, now that I'm uh, you know able to appreciate like aesthetics and stuff, you know, as an adult, I, I have to admit, yeah, his design is weird as shit, and his like bulbous forehead does not help things any. But I don't know. Like for some reason, when I was a kid, I I I liked him. I don't know. He, he looked weird, but I still liked him. Oh man, Zim is, Zim is getting behind. How'd that happen? He was a mainstay against Will. Oh well, he, he, helped, he helped against Will. I mean, we are fighting a lot of fighting types on this boat, aren't we? Maybe we'll leave Peanut where she is for now. She's got this. Do we even want to look at this? Nothing in there. Wow. So you're, 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 you're puking nothing. Okay. I think he's lying to us, personally. Alright, well, where's this kid at? <laughs> Is that you? Oh, I guess not. I'm so bored! You want to battle? I thought that all these sailors would make for good distractions. You know, they're, 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 they're manly, hunky men. But all they do is talk in stupid pirate accents. It's unbearable. Oh, yeah, seeking me. 33. I mean, I'm not terribly scared of your ability to use water at me, but you are still a water type, so... That is Zim's area, and so Zim shall handle it. Of course, we have Fraun for that as well, don't we? Much as I hate to say it, if we do get a Hound Hour, I think it's Zim who's getting swapped out for him, which is kind of, kind of crap. But, like, think about it this way. The only time I use Zim now is against Psychic types, because he's the only thing I have that resists them. But a Hound Hour is immune to Psychic types, and also gives us uh, advantages over steel and grass, whereas Zim is only good against flying and water types. Flying is not really a problem, and Frond is also good against water types. You know, so the only thing Zim does for us right now is good against flying types and resists psychic. And a Hound Hour does one of those and brings more to the table than that as well. So I hate to say it, but Zim is Zim is gonna uh, if if we get a Hound Hour, unfortunately it is gonna be Zim I think who we changed out for him. Or her. Yar! Nothing beats a battle when I'm on me break. Come here while I drink me grog, and I'll take you to take you to the to the cleaners. I don't I don't I don't know pirate lingo. Yar! Be me sailor Jeff, pirate Jeff. We well, got rats. That's about right. This be scabby. He gnaws on me peg leg. I'm not running away from you. Don't, don't pursue me. Get quaked. Seven, the same for Victoria. And then another Radicate. Oh. Scabby and Naughty. Yes, that's right, Naughty. Like the, yeah, like the beaver from Banjo-Kazooie's uh, Click Clock Woods. Well, that would be a game I wouldn't mind uh, playing on, on the channel someday, actually, because uh, Banjo-Kazooie was a massive part of my childhood. N64 days represent... Yar! Win or lose, me break be over! Yeah. Okay, I fun with that. Boatman. Boatman! The power to summon boats! Uh, I'm sorry, I just want to make sure there's nothing down there. And this must be the captain's cabin. To the captain's cabin! Captain, play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play more. Play, play, play. Hi, will you play with me? Oh, Grandpa's worried about me. I have to go. I have to go find my Grandpa. And thankfully, she, 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 she took me with her. Yay, shortcuts. Grandpa, here I am. I was playing with the captain and this guy. Oh, <clears throat> Tuesdays! <clears throat> was it? 
I heard you entertained my granddaughter. Want to thank you for that. I know. I'd like you to have this. Metal coat. If I had a scyther and could trade, I would be all over this right now. But I can't and I don't, so... Eh. Let me guess, we've arrived. Yep. Ah, uh, excuse me, the the, 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 the fashion of Aqua has arrived in Vermillion City. Get up, get the flop off my boat. Get the flop off my boat. Flop off, flop off. Flop off my boat. Yar! Oh wait, that's right, we're, we're, we're landed. I don't need to do the stupid voice anymore. <clears throat> the fashion of Aqua has arrived in, in Vermillion City. Get off. Okay, bye. Hey, dude. You came from Johto. I hear many rare Pokemon live over there. I mean, I hear the same thing about you guys. Which is it? Both can't be true, or can they? Or can it? Or whatever. Check my grammar later. What are you? The fast ship sails on Wednesdays and Sundays every week. Oh, so we can go back if we wanted to. That's cool. Okay, well, Vermilion City. Ah, nostalgia. What are you, sir? Oh. Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. So you say. Hey! It's the gourmet! How's it hanging, buddy? Oh, he's snoring peacefully. I bet he is. I'll get back to you later. Okay, so we're in. We're in. We're in Kanto. Whoa! Eight gyms in Kanto. Yeah, I, I, I know. I wonder if the, the uh, fan club is still here. <laughs> Looks about the same, actually. Yes, I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. Yes, yes, yes. My face of 100, 100. My very much should have come to Pokemon. Yes, 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 yes. You should just hear about my point. That's more or less how, how I imagine he talks, considering he just, you know, does this. A smart, unbearable, that's amazing. Ah, oh, you think so? Too much, wow, beautiful, kind, I love it. Hungry was sleeping, warm, kindly, oh, and spectacular, ravishing, simply divine. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, whoops, look at the time. I've kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out, I want you to have this. A rare candy, really? Not like a, I mean, I already have a bike, so I, guess I, I, I don't need a bike voucher, but... Okay. It's a rare candy that makes Pokemon stronger. I'm making my Pokemon stronger the old-fashioned way, my bat legs, you can have it. Okay, weird guy. It's a, it, it's a Clefairy, huh? Oh, right, it's 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 just a Poké doll. Oh, okay. This is, this is where the kid who wanted to trade for a for a Farfetch'd was. Magnet train, a railway to Goldenrod. Oh, that's cool. Saffron. Okay, so the magnet train connects Saffron and Goldenrod. Good to know for later, I guess. Mart's there. You can go up here and catch something, but I think I'll leave that off for just a moment. Uh, is there a fishing guy in here still? Oh, I am the fishing... Oh, sorry, the fishing dude. Ahem. Yo, I'm the fishing dude. The elder of the fishing bros. We met the fishing guru at the Lake of Rage. He dreams about seeing the world's greatest magic carp. If you don't mind, could you show him any magic carp you catch? Who knows? You may catch the magic carp of his dreams. Like, dude. Dude. Yeah, my... my my California surfer lingo is a uh, voice is, is unfortunately not not quite on point, but I'll I'll, I'll work on it. Like, dude, it's so totally bogus. Hmm. All right, so healing for no particular reason, and then I guess we'll go kick the crap out of Surge because we're here, and I I I I, I do feel bad that that Peanut didn't get to do anything during the late four. So hey, we'll let her have some time. Oh no, a tree! Whatever will I do? Eh. Take that tree. Have I ever talked to you? Eh, I don't think so. The point's starting now. Alright, so Surge's uh, gym works the same way as always, I assume. Yeah, nothing but nothing but trash, nothing but trash. I mean, let me just, you just you get past you guys. Actually, no, I, I, wait, no, it's open! Oh, it's open! Sweet. You're here. <clears throat> You're here to, to defeat Lieutenant Surge. Not if I can help it. No. And you see, I am the... Ooh. Different Pokemon battle theme. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, it's like old red and blue. I love it. I forgot about that. Awesome. I get to crush puny electric types while listening to cool battle music. I'm sold. Kanto's the best.
death count. So sorry, uh, uh, doom clock to 33. Or yeah, dragon rage. And just like that, she 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 gained the ability to stand on her own two non-existent feet. Not, I mean, not, not you know, like not not at at the, the uh, level we're fighting at, of course, but. Flappy! We can't actually get one of those in this game. Uh, in Crystal, it, it is the only version out of, out of Gold, Silver, and Crystal. It is the only version that you cannot catch Marie. I don't know why. It's just how it is. Gregory. Sorry I failed you, Lieutenant Surge. Sir! Sir! Sir? So, so, so we could just go right there, but let's finish thrashing his gym, his, his, uh, gym members first. I'm gonna take you down. Prepare to be shocked. Shocked, 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 shocked. All right. More jugglers. Horton. Did, did you hear any who's? Electrode. You cheeky bugger, always winking at me. I'll have none of it. None of it! Oh, you seek to outroll out me. Well, I, 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 I think not, sir. <clears throat> of course, now that I know that the, the, the rollout challenge has been issued, I must respond in kind. Except no substitutes for these things, you know. All right, you cheeky bugger, let's do this. You want to roll out and see see who 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 does does the best roll? I will show you who does the best roll. Spoiler alert: it ain't you. He's like, I think maybe I fucked up, and I'm just like, yep, I agree. Electro down, electro down. Wow, he really is committed to this, isn't he? I guess they don't know any any other moves besides Rollo and like electric moves. It's really unfortunate for him. The pitiless slaughter shall not cease, however. Doom Clock 32. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to know that he doesn't know self-destruct, because it's like, it would have been a better option for all but his last Pokemon. If he assumed, you know, that he wanted to win anyway. Sorry, Horton. Gah, I was overpowered. Time to go find some who's. And lastly, Lieutenant Surge recognized my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, damn! It's Poke Axe, guitarist Vincent. It's Poke Guitar. Shred metal, baby! Oh, yeah! Turn it up to 11! And, 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 and for those of you who, who are, who are uh, regular players of Heroes of the Storm, you may recognize I'm just quoting Elite Torrent Chieftain at this guy. Badly, I I admit, but still. <laughs> Level 40 peanut doing well. Mantorb. Mantorb. Sonic boom. It is an it, it is a complete and total waste to use an earth earthquake on a Voltorb, but uh, you know, just whatever. Get it done. What's left? Magnemite again. The eye roll of maximum sarcastic bullshit. Quad wake, super dead. And lastly, another one. Why would you? Oh, I'm okay. Whatever. Sure. I have three earthquakes left. Is that enough to kill Surge, you think? Cause I don't want to go back to the center. I, I mean, I, I just don't want to be. I, I can't be bothered. I'm having, I'm having a good time just, just rolling over these guys. 
Time to let my oh, my 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 incredible cockiness take me to ruin. Because if, if I if I die now, it's totally my own fault. Let's do this. Well, hey, you little tyke. I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. <laughs> I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. War! Huh. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <coughs> huh. He's got like five Pokemon. Oh crap, I forgot to look up ahead of time how many. Okay, well. Hmm. This was on me. I I, I admit I, I, I momentarily forgot the whole bring as many as he's got rule. But, but, he's got five, and Victoria's not really a contendent anyway, so I think we're okay, and frankly, if he gets past Peanut, I'll be legitimately surprised. So, I admit, I admit my fault, I, 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 I messed up on this one, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna matter very much. Yeah, that seems about right. Keep that doom clock counting. Like, I think, I think his, his entire team strategy is just double team laugh. Like, and that's fine, I guess, but if it fails him, he dies. Which is why accuracy moves and such are always so, so unreliable. Because you either get the result you want and you never get hit and, 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 and it's totally broken. Or it, you get hit immediately and die and then it's broken the other way because you just wasted your turn doing nothing. You know what I mean? There's not really any middle ground to it. It's, 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 it's either painfully good or painfully bad. There's, there's no room in between. Alright, two left and I'm out of Earthquakes, so what do we got? Electabuzz! Ah, oh, you're so cool! Alright, well I guess I'll just use a PP item. I, 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 I could be stubborn and, and just, you know use rollout, but there's a possibility that his his, his uh Electabuzz might know some kind of a punch move, so Nope. Never mind, we're good. I was needlessly concerned. <coughs> Cause that would have been the smart thing. Like if 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 his Electabuzz had known Ice Punch, that could have been genuinely terrifying. Like that would have actually hurt quite a bit. But uh he did not. So he dies. Doom Clock is at 30, 30 flat. And one last Electrode. And I, as, as a gesture of one warrior to another, I shall end you with Rollout. After I heal once, just to make sure you don't blow up in my face. Because I will never, ever, ever trust you not to do that. Never. Ever. Ever. Alright, oh, you have that too. Maybe I'll just earthquake you then. Because... Yeah. You know what? Nope. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Eh, bugger it. Just kill him. I would have liked to have rolled it, but you know, roll, rolled out hit him to death. Roll out at him, whatever. I would have liked to have killed him that way. But double team makes it a little too tedious for my liking, so dead he is by earthquake. Arr, you're strong. All right, kid, you get the thunder badge. Yay! So yeah, again, I apologize for not like custom bringing team members for this, but as we saw, I didn't really need to. Thunder badge increases Pokemon speed. Consider it proof that you defeated me. You aren't proud, you hear? Okay, wait, no, what? Where's my damn Thunderbolt, you jerk? Did he, did, did he not give me a TM? What? What? You Kanto gym leaders are cheap now. 
Dang it! Ugh. I wanted Thunderbolt. I, I wanted a, re a reason to keep Zim around. Thunderbolt would have been great. Beth, cool trainer. Oh yeah, you. Well, hello, two T's. Good evening. This is Beth. I hope you were awake. You want to battle? Uh, you're okay. You're really inconvenient to get to, though. You know. All right, fine. I guess. Anyway, so that was the first gym leader in Kanto. We kind of just rolled over him because Peanut is great. The end. That's really all there is to it. Peanut. Peanut is great. Just, just, just. Affirmative statement. <clears throat> Victoria is slowly catching up to the rest of the pack, and uh, yeah, things are things looking good. We're, we're we're off we're off to a strong start on our Kanto journey, and I believe that today our Vita will will be putting out his uh, 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 his episode where he challenges the Elite Four. So be sure to go over and watch him kick the crap out of them, because going by his preparations he made in his last video, it shouldn't be that hard for him. So we shall see together, because I haven't seen it yet either, obviously. So hopefully, hopefully he does well, and hopefully he can continue on to Kanto himself and make a make a make a a, a, a similarly bold and 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 powerful uh, entrance. Um, as a note, K. Cray has also recently come to Kanto. Actually, I I've, I, th I think I've just managed to catch up to her just about. She's uh, probably a, a, a part or two ahead of me at this point, but we're 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 uh, pretty close. And she she puts out amazing content, so be sure to drop by her channel and check out her Soul Silver Nuzlocke as well. And of course, swing by Scription's channel for more of his Red Seven Two One Nuzlocke. Or he's actually uh, and he's also checking out uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z as well, which is a pretty cool game and not quite what I expected, but definitely drop by and check it out. And, uh, yeah, that about covers everything for now. I'm gonna do a little bit of research and see what, like, like which things are available for catching where around here. Um, and we'll go off that because my Pokedex is maybe a little out of date. Oh, I can go to both sides now. Cool. Okay. I mean, obviously, I mean, I mean, obviously we can't catch a, catch a Chikorita, but... Where do you catch a Houndour? Actually, just while I'm thinking about it. While it is on my mind, where do I get one? Near somewhere. Hello! Ah. Come on. I, must be somewhere. Nowhere in Johto, right there. Okay, so Vermilion City is the city just above that, that like, inland water area. So that's Saffron above us, and that's Celadon off to the left. So there's one area between Saffron and Celadon where we can catch Houndour. And that is going to be our goal. That is foremost in my thoughts right now. Gyms are a distant second. Houndour is what I want. Houndour is what I'm getting. That is it. Because I was denied my Growlithe, and I will not be denied my Houndour, alright? So, <laughs> that's just how it's gonna be, I hope. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm not sure if we can actually get to that next episode or not, but we'll certainly give it a try. So for now, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and for now, a Monster Mad out. Bye-bye!